Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben Bonk, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple ground dash ability and a kind of uh, dash jump ability, which is going to be very simple to do. It's extremely simple, much more uh, easy than you think it'll be. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is just a player movement script that you can move around, jump around, and that's all you really need. So let's get started. So as I said earlier, you're going to need a functioning moving movement script for your player and let's just start off by making some variables so if you want to make some things uh, neater in your inspector we can go ahead and make a header and just call this dashing and then after that we can add some variables so first thing we're going to do is you can make this public or private so we're gonna make it public for now make it a public bool called can dash and we want to initialize this at true also make a public float called dash time which is going to be how long we dash for and we'll make our public float our dash speed for how fast we're going to dash and i'm just going to rename this to dashing time so it's a little bit more clear and i must have had some errors there then also if we want to do a dash jump which i'll get into later you can make a public float called our dash jump increase or whatever but that will make sense later and then our finally a public float and it's going to be time between dashes and so this is going to be how long we have to wait until we want to dash again and we can set this so we need this to uh, be just so that like once we have a dash we can't just spam the dash button and so it won't work like that. The next thing we're gonna do is wherever you apply your movement, typically in the fixed update, if you have a function for it like I do, or you can just make, put build this right into the fixed update if you want, you wanna have, make sure to have a few more variables. So if you have a can move variable, you wanna make sure that you can move. And if you haven't made one of these, go ahead and make, make one of those to make sure that you can move right off the bat. You wanna make sure that we are moving. And if you have a ground check, you want to make sure that it is grounded, something like that. And since I have wall sliding and all that kind of stuff uh, in my game, I want to make sure I'm not wall sliding or anything like that. So if this is all true, if we input dot get key down, and for the um, sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using left shift, which is down here, or key code dot left shift. Then we want to call a thing called dash ability or whatever you want to call it. And since we have this, we want to have to scroll down, just copy this and make a new private void. So I can do this here, just make a void dash ability. And inside of this, we just want to say if we can dash, then we want to start a new coroutine, which is going to pretty much handle our dash. And again, this is really, really simple, but um, um, it's, ve it's very, very simple. Uh, it's a lot more simple than you think it is when we get into this coroutine. So now we have start our coroutine. So let's make our coroutine. I do this by making IE numerator and just call this dash. First thing we want to do is once we press our dash, we don't want to be able to dash again. So let's set our uh, can dash equal to false. And we want our movement speed. This is pretty much how we're going to do our ground dash is we want our movement speed, our current movement speed, whatever you're using to control your character. We want it to equal our dash uh, speed. And then we want our jump force for our, uh, this is going to be like our kind of dash jump, equal our dash, or our jump increase, whatever that is, dash jump increase. And then after we do all that, you want to yield return new, and then we want to wait for a few seconds, wait for seconds, and this seconds is going to be determined by our dash time then what we are going to do is are gonna whatever your default movement speeds you're gonna set this so my default movement speed is 11 and my default jump force is equal to 18.5 
uh, that's just you're gonna set those back to your default so if your movement speed when you normally move around is like tw 20 so I'm gonna set that back to 20 to whatever you normally do and let's make another yield re yield return can't, I cannot spell yield today um, yield return new and wait for some more seconds our time between dashes and our can dash is even equal to true so really our dash is just increasing our movement speed that's really all it is and just waiting between our dash times and so let's hop back into unity and let's set around let's mess around with our uh, variables on our player let's see we have a header i'm gonna make sure our can dash is equal to true our dashing time let's make this snappy something like 0.2 our dash speed uh, let's set this to uh, like 20 or something our dash jump increase make this like 23 time between dashes let's wait like 0.5 seconds so let's go in now and just test this out and it's gonna be pretty easy because all we're doing is really just increasing the movement speed so when i'm on the ground i can't do it in the air when I'm on the ground. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know, my unity is just being a little weird I because I didn't save my script. But uh, as you can see, whenever I press space, we're gonna get this quick, nice, fast ground dash. And this is all this really is, is just achieved by increasing the movement speed. And it looks really clean. If I set this like a uh, time between dashes like 0.1, you know, you can like dash a ton. Like, boom, 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 boom. And it, you can make a lot of really cool stuff with this. And also, if you know, if you jump while this is how normally high i jump but if i jump while i'm dashing i will get a movement speed which or a jump increase which is kind of cool kind of like a dash jump that you can make so it's i think it's a pretty cool mechanic and all this is it's so simple all it is is just increasing the movement speed and increasing the jumping speed but you know you don't have to mess around with rigid body to add force or move towards or anything like that it's just a very simple solution that's really effective so that's going to be the end of my tutorial and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.